Hello everyone. Um, if you say you're a Liverpool fan but you don't know John Barnes, then you're obviously not a Liverpool fan. For those of you who are not yet a Liverpool fan, let me tell you uh, tell you guys a bit about him. So during his 10-year career in Liverpool, John scored 108 goals in 407 appearances. In his first season, in Liverpool completed a record equaling 29 games unbeaten and ultimately clinched a 17th league title. In the 1989-90 season, Barnes helped secure another title. That year, he scored with 22 league goals. He's a top scorer and again voted the Football Winners Association Player of the Year. And today, he's a commentator and pundit for ESPN. It is a rare treat that he is in Malaysia this week and with me this afternoon. So, pleasure to have you, John. Say, normally I'm the one who's being asked questions, uh, but today I'll be the one asking uh, questions. That's why I'm very nervous. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's an easy question, so I hope. So first, my first question, John. Um, how did you get the nickname? Well, I started playing in 1981. And in 1981, I don't know whether this television program was popular in Malaysia, yes. but the most popular program was Dallas. Yes. Um, with J.R. Ewing and Bobby Barnes. And Bobby Barnes is um, father-in-law. Pam Ewing's um, father was Digger Barnes and anybody who was called Barnes mm. as a footballer was called Digger Barnes so I was John Barnes and my nickname was Digger there was Bobby Barnes who played for West Ham his nickname was Digger and Paul Barnes who played for Ipswich his nickname was Digger a lot of people think that it was because my initials are JCB you know JCB the big Digger mm -hmm. JCB is a, a big um, Digger that and I'm John Charles, Brian Barnes, my, my initials are JCB, so they think that's why I dig it. But no, it's from that Dallas the television program. Oh, okay, yes, I remember that program. And second question, uh, what was your most memorable moment uh, as a Liverpool player? You said at the start that I played for Liverpool for 10 years, and that is my most memorable moment, my whole 10 year the career, 10 because of course, what happens is people may look at individual moments and feel that that is memorable, and that was great. But the, what makes you the person you are is the consistency over a period of time. So there have been bad times, there have been good times. So I think you have to look as a human being, as a person, what you've done for your whole life to then show you how successful you've been. Because we all, especially now with the kids with Instagram, they show their best selves. And when they're, yes, but what about right. when they're not happy and they're not best selves? So I look at my whole 10 years in Liverpool as my most memorable. Oh, that's a very good answer. Um, who are your top three Liverpool players uh, of all time? I've always said, and when we think about Liverpool, we think from Bill Shankly in the 70s, 60s and 70s. They've been players before. And the top two have always been until the last four or five years, uh, Kenny Dalglish and Ian Rush. Mm. And then after that, we are now looking for a third. Steven Gerrard came on the scene. Yes. I mean, so people talk about Kenny and Steven. And of course, what we have now is we have Mo Salah. We have, I mean, Sadio Mane is now gone, so you would add him to that. So I think Mo has signed a, a, a three, four year contract. Okay. So I think if I was to then come back here in three years time with Mo having been in Liverpool for eight or nine years, Mo Salah may be one of those three. But at this moment in time, Kenny until that Ian. happens, I would say Kenny, Ian and Steven Gerrard. And uh, which rivalry is more intense? Is it Man United or Everton? During your time, obviously it's different. During my time, yeah. it was Everton. Yeah, because was during Everton. my time, I went to Liverpool in 1987 and throughout the 80s, Everton won the league two times, we won yes. it five times. They were the biggest, and of course, yes. they're towards the other way. Good. As the 90s came, Manchester United then obviously were the biggest rivals and now it may be Manchester City. But if anyone in Liverpool would always tell you the biggest rivalry is obviously Liverpool and Everton. Good Gary Lineker, Gary but yes. not in terms of the abilities of the team, just because, you know, the city is half blue and half red. Okay, one more question. Which was a better comeback? 3-0 um, down after the first half at Istanbul in 2005 or 3-0 down after the first leg at Barcelona uh, in 2019? I would say the Barcelona the Barcelona, one. One. Barcelona one. Because if you remember, um, and I'm watching that game, and it was a great comeback because we came back from 3-0 down, but AC Milan were the better team. Yeah. We scored three goals in 15 yes. minutes to come back. But in terms of the way we played, we never played well, even though we came back, we just scored three goals. But to lose at Barcelona, who were a fantastic team, and having to score three goals over 90 minutes, and over amazing. the full 90 minutes were interesting, we were fantastic. So no, that was for me a better one. Yeah. If you can choose one trophy for Liverpool to win uh, this season, this season, yeah, will it be the Premier League or the Champions League? 
What about the FA Cup? Or the other one? <laughs> <laughs> Look, the Liverpool, the Liverpool um, philosophy from Bill Shankly's time is that the most important thing is the Premier League. Yes. All first division. Yes. Because the best team, the best team was the Premier League. You can be lucky to win the cup. You can be lucky to win the Champions League even. Istanbul. Yeah. We, we, we were lucky. Yeah. Um, you remember Jersey Ludek saving yeah. that from Savchenko. But you can't be lucky to win the league. So if you want to be the best team, and Liverpool's philosophy has always been the best team is win, one wins the league. True. We were lucky to, to lose the Champions League this year. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So you can be unlucky or lucky, but you can't be lucky or unlucky to win all these leagues. Correct. Finally, last question. Um, well, actually, it's not a question. Uh, can you perform the Enfield rap for us? I can perform my version, my part yes. of the Anfield rap. If you remember the Anfield rap, it was the whole Liverpool team. I only had one line, so I can do my line. <laughs> Would you like me to do my line? Yeah, can you do your line? My line goes, you two scousers are always yapping. I'm going to show you some serious rapping. I come from Jamaica. My name is John Barnes. When I do my thing, the crowd go bananas. Who? Most of us can't do that. <laughs> and Ian Russian can't do that either. That's good, man. Anyway, thank you, uh, John, uh, for being with us today and being for being an inspiration, actually, for Liverpool fans, uh, old, uh, myself, and the new ones. Uh, I've always dreamed um, of playing football with a Liverpool player. Uh, more so, one more, uh, like a legend for a legend like you. So, what do you say? Well, I'm feeling a bit intimidated, I must admit, because I'm not 28 yet, years old anymore, and I know that you are a marathon running me very fit, as you can see. So, um, but yes, let's go. Anyway, okay, okay guys, enough to chat, uh, let's play some more. Thank you. You two scousers are always yapping. I'm gonna show you some serious rapping. I come from Jamaica, my name is John Bonnet. When I do my thing, the crowd go bananas.